Hello, welcome to Ellis Manor House. Well, last program we um, elaborated on the Aesop's fable. Now, what one has to remember is, you know, we can only and will only ever scratch the surface of what is within this small building because there's just so much. It is a treasure trove, it is a gem. Now, <coughs> one of what uh, the other symbols within this wall painting, and at some point we'll tell you something about it now, but at some point again we'll do a very close shot so you can appreciate it. And that is a pomegranate. Now the pomegranate most people know of the pomegranate because it's one of the symbols in Catherine of Aragon's coat of arms. Now, she's actually buried at Peterborough's cathedral. And on her birthday, people actually lay pomegranates all around her grave. But it doesn't end there because the whole of this, as I said in one of the programs, is that this is the beginning of early European and British history. So all of the scrolls you're seeing are what's known as the acanthus. Now the acanthus is actually a plant. And from that, and I won't deviate too much, but I will just let you know this, that is what inspired the Corinthian columns in the classic order. So we'll elaborate on that another time, but let's stay with the pomegranate on this occasion. Now, <coughs> excuse me, a pomegranate is a wonderful fruit. And, you know, going back to Greek mythology, it was called the fruit of Hades. That's how he got Persephone. Of course, she tasted, after kidnapping her on four horses, took her into the underworld. She tasted the seed of the pomegranate. And I think she would have had four because those are the four winter months. She then became the queen of the underworld. And it is, <coughs> excuse me, it is, the pomegranate seeds that so she was so taken by. So she's now, she's the queen of the underworld, but the bringer of spring. Because those four winter months, we see the desolation of no flowers, no nothing. And then, of course, comes spring, she arrives with all of the fruitfulness of spring. She's also the queen of agriculture which is actually quite apt because, you know, Lincolnshire has got to be the food basket of England. And for that, to be able to relate that shows commonality. And you see, going back to what we mentioned in one of the other programs, recognition. Again, we see from recognition we're able to relate things always. It's rather like, you know, this deciphering business, it's rather like a detective, really. You find a clue and you're constantly looking, deciphering, and through that you build up a story. Well, the story is already there, built, but our trouble is it has been almost forgotten by some and has been completely forgotten, forgotten by others. Now all we're trying to do on this voyage of discovery is discovering all of that. And suddenly it's like putting a jigsaw together and it all makes sense once again. So we've, as a matter of fact, dare I say it, we've just brought out our latest organic t-shirt and on the back of it we've got the pomegranate 
And so at the top written, we've got art inspires and at the bottom culture lives. And so you see the way we're playing with all of this. But if anyone has never eaten a pomegranate, I strongly suggest you do because it's considered one of the superfoods. You also get obviously the pomegranate drinks, fruit drink. And so it's not just that it's wonderful to look at, it's got all those multiple, many seeds. It is a huge food source and it's good for us. And that's what we see over in that corner. Now, we've talked about our Aesop's fable and over in th on this side, we've also got sitting, it's not quite in the tree, but it's uh, sort of adjacent to a tree, but that's a peacock. Now the peacock is a symbol of longevity, the incorruptible flesh. And so that's what we have there. And then over on the east side, we've got a most incredibly beautiful deer. That's actually much more pronounced than most of what we've uh, talked about thus far. Now, very serene, and it draws you in. And what it's actually doing, the whole scape of this, is to give you the idea that you're within the room, looking out of a lodger into a pleasure garden. And for that, <coughs> excuse me, there are columns every seven feet apart. Then the frieze would have continued all the way around the room, sitting on the columns. The columns are then standing on the dado. So that's approximately 10 inches off the floor. And as you're within the room, you're looking through each of those blocks of um, between the columns. And within that space, you have these symbols of significance. So that's what's going on. Also, as it rises up, there's a mound rising up above the dado, and as it gets to its apex, there are three trees, and what they represent is Trinity. Now, people have said to me in the past, why would these have been whitewashed over because there are no religious, because they're known these to be domestic paintings. This is what makes them incredibly special. You know, in, in early times, you go into churches and there are wall paintings, but they're ecclesiastical because people didn't read or write. It was the way they put the fear of God into their heads, the Bible stories. And when one had been successfully completed, they would do another on top. So today you walk into churches and um, sometimes the clarity isn't as good as it ought to have been, or it ought to be, and that's because too many has gone on top of each other. Now here, these have been x-rayed by, excuse me, <coughs> by English heritage. So what they can categorically say is, these are the original the only one. The other thing they can also say is they were not copied out of a book or anything. They were done freely out of the head. And they can get to that assumption because of the flow. There's this wonderful flow of the acanthus leaves and so on. And there's an openness as well. They've put these at around circa 1500. So that hopefully gives you more idea of what we're sitting in this wonderful painted chamber. And so thank you for joining us. We look forward to our next program. <music>